Okay, welcome back. And today, just wanted to show you this uh, Land Rover Jeep that um, I found about um, I don't know, a couple of months ago. And it's been sitting gathering dust and uh, it was all uh, still dusty even though it's been cleaned and repainted and all that but uh, it was when I found it the axles were rusty and all the stickers were peeling so I took all the stickers off and it faded sun faded it had been left out in the rain in the garden also found another Action Man Jeep. Uh, I think it's a Chirilla or Chirilia, however you say it. Willie's Jeep, but it's missing the windscreen and the bonnet. Um, uh, this one, I think, originally had a windscreen as well. It folded down, but that's missing. Uh, not sure if this is a the right place to mount a gun but it it works it looks good that's how I repainted um, you can see like just around the edges there got a bit of a metal effect on the um, don't know what you call that but that bit there <laughs> and around the uh, just anywhere that would show a bit of wear in the corners there it was fun fun cleaning it up and giving it a bit of TLC got a bit of detail on the spade there pickaxe yeah so I think this was originally made by um, Sunny Smile in the UK or uh, Strike Force in America. It's a left hand drive and it did have all the Strike Force stickers all over it. Trying to get some uh, reproduction decals, but people only seem to cater for the Action Man vehicles. Not a lot of love for the sunny smile strike force i think they're they're really nice so uh, yeah I'll give you another angle and that be pretty much it really the, the action man stuff does uh, tend to fetch more money but uh this is these vehicles, this company anyway. Sunny Smile Strike Force. They do. You know, they're still vintage. But uh, they don't seem to go for as much money. So, yeah, just repainted everywhere that there was a decal, and the decals were beyond, you know, saving. Otherwise, I would. Would like to keep it uh, as much as possible, but they were just beyond keeping. You know, all the colour had faded out of them, and you know, nah. They were there were spiders, dead spiders living in this cobwebs, dirt, grime. So at least now. I can actually put figures in it without, you know, them getting all nasty. So yeah, I've got the got the action man out on patrol, and they've uh, they found something interesting there. 
show you this guy here. He talks. Wasn't it one handed? Probably not. Nope. <laughs> Let me set this down. Give him a pull. What's the password? Address in single file. Address in single file. What's the password? What's the password? He also says, give me cover as well, but it's random. What a phrase plays so like a little record player in the back there in the back of the body I've uh, had about three of these figures and broke all of them they two I think uh, I think all three were working when I originally got them but I tinkered with them and broke them <laughs> so I've only got one working one but he's there uh, playing correct speed and no problems yet. So I'm not going to tempt fate and uh, mess with it. I'm just going to leave him alone. And I've got a dog tag to put on the end of his uh, string. Make it easier, a bit easier to uh, operate. But yeah, just sort of give you a quick look. I had these action men for a while. And uh, same old problem. I haven't got nowhere really to store, to display them. And this sort of, this size Jeep ain't going to fit in the detolf. Uh, not that I've got any spare shelves, but I'll find room for it. And uh, yeah, really liking this little setup here. So yeah, just thought I'd give you a quick look. Tell me your thoughts, uh, if you know anywhere besides uh, Action Man HQ that might be of help with the decals. I've had a, a good look online and I can't find anywhere. Uh, there's a couple of uh, bits and bobs on eBay but nothing for this particular Jeep. I think it's a Land Rover um, from what I've been told. Made by Sunny Smile and Strike Force. Yeah, that's it. Just thought I'd give you a quick look. And uh, yeah, if I had more room, I'd, I'd probably pick up a few more bits of vehicles because they are they are pretty cool. And they're yeah, they're fun to work on, easy to work on. Wheels pop off quite easy. The little wear. Uh, I think they're called hard docks, those little, those like uh, buttons on the end. They sort of crimp onto the axle. They're quite easy to uh, wedge off with a screwdriver. All original. Managed to save them, clean them up, get all the rust off. So that was nice. And uh, yeah, plenty more life in this old Jeep. So yeah. Again, thanks for watching. Take it easy.